know, folks, the problem with the world today is that most people just don't pay attention. Most people are happy and comfortable with the narratives that are given them by the government, parties in power, state actors, politicians. Most of the world just wants things to go back to normal, right? What we've seen in the last few years um, with the you-know-what The measures taken to restrict society, standing six feet apart, you must get the you-know-what in order to have a job, to work, to be a part of society, to go to events. Then, of course, after all that died down, we got um, doctors, the doctor himself, um, Fauci, who then comes public or comes clean, tells you that there was no science involved in any of it. There was no science in standing six feet apart. That doesn't do a thing. That was just something, quote unquote, the public decided to do on their own. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. That was a recommendation or even a mandate to stand six feet apart. They even had... Um, those little stickers on the floor. Please stand six feet apart. Then you got Fauci. Starts telling you there's no science behind that. The guy who called himself I am science, i.e. I am a dictator. Listen to this, listen to me. Obviously with big profit in the... Um, with the agenda. With all these um, big pharma companies. But anyway, I digress. The problem with the world is they don't pay attention. They think it's all a coincidence. They think it's just random. Well, it's not random that all the state players, all the politicians around the world basically follow the same, the same script. Wear a mask. Take the you-know-what. Stand six feet apart. Don't go out. Stay inside. Don't cough. Don't sneeze. Um, listen to mandates. If that wasn't telling enough, look at what's happening in the world today. Look at what's running, indeed has been running since 2019. It's literally just picking up and people need to wake up. They need to pay attention. We've seen wars and rumors of wars, plagues, pestilences. Earthquakes in diverse places. We've seen nation coming against nation. And why doesn't the world wake up? Why do the why why does the um, the world ignore all that is going on? The answer is simple. They'd rather bury their head in the sand, hoping that it would go away, hoping that one day it might just go back to the world they once knew. Yeah, that's a false hope. If anything, I don't know if people have have realized, clinging on to their false hope, that not only have these events, catastrophes, not gone away, not gone any better, but they've increased in intensity, in frequency, in duration. 2024 opened on the very first day with a gigantic earthquake. I believe it was in Japan. That was followed a week later by another earthquake in the Philippines. This is not taking into account the wars that are going on. Of course, Ukraine and Russia picking up in Europe. Um, Israel, Palestine, of course, boiling, coming to a head in the Middle East. This is not even taking into account the Red Sea, wherein trade is being blockaded. Um, ships are being attacked by Houthi rebels. 
and of course the USA being involved in nearly every geographic theater in terms of war and warfare dragging the UK and its NATO allies in as well I don't know if people realize but a third of the world's trade passes through the Red Sea gas oil food grain shipments importing imports and exports if trade was disrupted in that area and it is prices for oil and gas and these goods are going to skyrocket not only will the shipping companies have to take the long route around um, they're gonna levy or add taxes upon taxes in order to deliver the goods to different companies worldwide they got to take the longer route they're gonna add more and more which will which in turn of course will increase the cost of goods wherever you might be and I don't know if people realize that folks don't cling to a false hope that any of this is gonna go away needless to say it's not there's more than meets the eye you see as a whole the world is generally reactive what they do is they sit back they watch they hope and pray that it goes away it won't they watch what is unfolding because it's not yet on their doorstep until it gets on their doorstep and they haven't a clue as to what's going on um, I'm here to tell you what's going on it's biblical yes it's in the Bible this is biblical prophecy and it's coming to pass you're living in the last days before the coming of Jesus Christ now most people will say that's just religion that's not true you've been saying that forever A thousand years to the Lord is as a day it's been nearly 2,000 years since the death burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ we all know what happened on the third day the third day a thousand years the millennial reign of Jesus Christ here on earth but before that before that I'm here to tell you before the third day there's gonna be a period of several years wherein God pours out his wrath his judgment this is known as the Great Tribulation I'm here to tell you that what you're seeing unfolding around the world right now and you must pay attention are warning signs warning events don't believe the mainstream media narrative that it's all random the world is falling apart only for it to fall into place the actors are all in place the nations are all in place this world is being prepared for judgment a judgment that it does not even want to believe is coming a judgment that it does not want to believe will be poured out there is a period of time known as the Great Tribulation which will be the worst years in the history of mankind you're gonna have more wars more nations rising against other nations more earthquakes more plagues and pestilences it's not gonna stop but there is hope in all of this and his name is Jesus Christ okay the good news is that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son Jesus Christ that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life the bad news is we are all born sinners condemned rightfully under the law that we are unable to keep the bad news that most people don't want to hear is that there is no one good 
There is not one man that is righteous, no, not one. There is no man that does good. And only God is good. What that means is we are unable to rectify our fallen state. We are unable to save ourselves. And yes, we need a savior. And because we are unable to save ourselves, God, who is love, gave his only begotten son. God himself manifested in the flesh to destroy the works of the devil. Was crucified in your place, in my place, for the sins of the world. Nailing our sins on the cross, taking our sins upon himself, he who knew no sin was made to be sin for us. You see, friends, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh, God himself, took upon him your burden, bore your burdens, my burdens, the sins of the whole world, nailing them to his cross, shedding his holy blood, his precious blood. That was the sacrifice that God accepts. The only sacrifice, the atonement of sins. And he died in our place, was buried, and on the third day was raised to life and glory and seated forever at the right hand of the Father. You see, friends, Jesus is alive and he is real. Yes, there is a God, and yes, judgment is coming. But that judgment that wrath, that condemnation, is reserved for a Christ-rejecting, unbelieving world. The reason being is, sin has to be judged. Because God is righteous, he must judge sin. Now, for the believer, for the believer in Christ Jesus, this was already judged, condemned at the cross. The believer is not subject to the wrath of God. The believer in Christ will be removed. This is an event known as the rapture or the harpazo. Before the great tribulation, before God's wrath is released upon this earth. God so loved the world that he made salvation simple for us. It's not of works. It's not, not of anything that any one of us could ever do. We don't earn salvation. We don't work for salvation. And we are not worthy of salvation. God offers salvation as a free gift to mankind. One needs simply believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, trusting in his atoning death, burial, and resurrection on the third day, trusting in his shed blood alone for salvation. The moment one believes the gospel, the good news, trusting Christ as their Savior, trusting in the shed blood of the Lamb, instantly, God the Father seals you with his Holy Spirit. You are born again, born from above, not of this world, born from above, born from God's own spirit, sinless, unable to sin, the new man, the spirit man. A new creation in Christ, eternally saved eternally a child of God, never to be plucked from the hands of the Father, and never to perish. Folks, if you're listening to this message today, don't put off your salvation. Don't wait and see. No man is promised tomorrow. Yes, this is all real. Yes, this is all true, and it's all happening. As much as the world will refuse, will reject the good news, the gospel, ultimately, this is to their own demise. Don't be one of them. If you're watching this and you're hoping that the world will get better, it's going to fall apart. And I'm here to tell you that. Don't mock. Don't scoff. Don't laugh. The 
Bible tells us that even in the last days there will be mockers and scoffers. They'll say exactly the same things that the world has been saying all this time. Where is the promise of his coming? Where is Jesus? Even in these days, they say that he won't come. Why well, tell you, he will come. As a thief in the night, and the world will be caught off guard because they weren't paying attention. They weren't watching. They had no idea. Folks, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ today. Trust in his finished work on the cross. You shall be saved. The moment you believe the gospel, you're saved, sealed, secured forever. Unto the day of redemption, that being the harpazo, the rapture of the church. Don't put this off. For God loves you. He gave his only begotten son for you, died in your place, was risen for you, shed his blood for you, and became that sacrificial lamb, the sacrifice for all sins that God requires for forgiveness. For without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins, and the wages of sin is death. And that was paid in full by Jesus Christ. Believe the gospel today. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. And be saved. God bless you.